Oh, listen, dude, we became a horde and immediately separatist, rebels, everything else. Jesus, I'm done being a horde, man. I'm done. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're once again back with a native nation, the nation of Cherokee. Cherokee is located right here in the continent of North America in the southeast region. It is one of the most well-known native nations. We are totemist. We do start off with a horrible ruler. We can't embrace institutions, and Cherokee has pretty decent national ideas. Minus 15% CCR and advisor discounts. We got construction cost right here. Manpower plus 20% super strong. Idea cost, morale, fort defense, diplomats, all around a really, really good idea set, which features ideas in the way that I like to play. And I know we've hit a streak with native nations over here, but listen, boys, it's just Cherokee and Choctaw and Chimuen. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do a little break here, boys. I can't do all of these native nations. But what do we do as Cherokee? Well, initially, I wanted to do the no trail of tears achievement, which requires us to own the entire Eastern America region, but then I realized you actually need to embrace all institutions to get that achievement. And for that, we need to play until pretty much the end of the game, something I can't be bothered to do. So why not, as Cherokee, do that achievement halfway and attempt to establish the real United States by conquering the entire Northeast and the Southeast regions of North America. So that's going to be our goal for today, man. Conquer these two regions and form the real United States of America. And before we begin, if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as cherokee all right all right here we are as cherokee we do start off with this piece of land right here and this little addition of tribal land down here and luckily unlike the south american nations we have plenty of things to do up here until the colonizers arrive so basically we can conquer all of these guys take all of their tribal land and then once we reform we're gonna get it all so we have plenty of wars to go around of course we need to reform all the way to a horde by getting miltex six and then flipping to a monarchy the most annoying way to reform i know but it is what it is that's how these nations work so let me start off by not doing Doing any estate stuff because we don't have any estates and uh maybe i can invite someone to a federation let's see here who i can let's invite these guys apparently boom there we go we have the cherokee federation excellent and we do have cbs on all of these guys around us so let me start off by building up my nation by building uh one more infantry regiment do we even have mercenaries as these guys we actually do we got the free company nice so yeah uh i'm gonna try and find some allies and then fight these guys by the way the achievements icon is grayed out because i don't have internet right now thanks internet service provider good job all right all right we got the army and the free company going here i've invited a bunch of guys to my federation so now we have five dudes in it i like that i like that we can even take a oh wait Cherokee has unique missions all right let me check these out boys all right pretty nice mission tree that requires us to do some native stuff either way what i was gonna say is it's time for our first war and it's gonna be versus the nation of uh joara right here so let's declare on them and expand our tribal land tribal border feud boom there we go and uh we're gonna fight these guys too i have no idea who that is really <laughs> cherokee is rich dude listen we're four over force limit still making money baby all right there we go we're done actually a super easy war so it's time to piece these guys out wait wait a minute how do these guys have two provinces these guys have two provinces as well how's that possible huh maybe these guys in north america work differently let's see what happens when we take this i guess huh how do you get more than one province? Now these guys just got two provinces as well. How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. Uh, if I move here, will that become my province? No. How do these guys work? What's this? All right, so I think I figured out how these guys have more than one province. Uh, these guys up here, they're a clan council tier one government reform. And so are these guys down here, whereas I'm not. I'm a chiefdom. So let me jump into a different game here and check out why clan councils can pass reforms so quickly. Okay, here I am as Chicksaw and apparently they start with the tier three government reform and they can already own all the land that they conquer. That's a little unfair, isn't it? Either way, uh, yeah, I just wanted to test stuff. So let me jump back in as Cherokee. And here I thought playing a native in North America would be more fun than playing one in South America. But no, no, it's still, uh, it's still painful. It's still painful for the first uh, 50 years. <laughs> I just kicked everyone from my federal because they were starting to get stronger than me so let's move over here boom there we are in the province of joara we should get a cb on these guys i think which we have a truce with because we just fought them that's right that's right uh okay then maybe i can move here boom there we go let's move right there and then we can fight these guys all right sweet let's get it nice bro i just got two condottieri stacks from some guys that like me and they're just standing here boys go 
go siege, man. Come on. And I've sieged this back and we've won this war. Let's take more tribal land. I love it. And along with uh, 10.2 ducats, apparently. Nice. All right. We're looking pretty big in theory, boys. Oh, and we just got money. So let's get that. Uh, so let's get the longhouse monthly reform progress. I love it. Nice. Whoa, Powhatan has so much tribal land, dude. Let's move next to them and then fight them. All right, let's do tribal border feud now. Hopefully uh, some people offer me Kandatiri again. Thank you you so my dude just died but now we can get an ancestor basically our previous ruler can become sort of our like uh i don't know how totemist works but hey trade efficiency so let's get that lots of pigeons for this but we don't really care about dip do we and this war is done as well let's see how much we can take from pohatan apparently not all of it so uh yeah let's just take all of this down here Sweet, man. Expansion looking good. Ooh, nice. New mission was this, principal people. I will take it. Thank you for the advisor discounts and diplo rep. And we can encourage divination. I will. All right, so we're looking good in the middle here, but the problem is <laughs> we're in the middle, right? And I gotta go up and down this coast over here. So uh, maybe we take care of these guys down south, then go up north, or I don't know, maybe go up north and then down south. What's the trade goods looking like here? I think the better ones are in the south. We don't really care about fur all that much. So we would be in a better position owning this when the colonizers colonizers arrive rather than owning this finally tier two gov reform time man what do we want to pick here i think it was oral tradition right yeah that was it for reform progress growth all right choose with these green dudes over here is up and these guys are gonna automatically be co-belligerented so uh that's pretty sweet why can't we take their land why don't i have that cb all right another nice building time ceremonial fire pit even more monthly reform progress growth and I moved over here next to these guys because I can't declare on these guys with the CB I want. So let's declare on these boys right here. Tribal Border Feud. You know what it is. I can even call in some of my own boys. Yeah. Another ruler change, this time through an event. I didn't even lose stab. I don't know how these guys work, but there we go. Another ancestor. Uh, another new ruler, I guess. 664. I like that. Like I said, I don't know how these guys work. Do I get another ancestor now? I do. <laughs> can't even take everything from these guys, dude. Embarrassing. But there we go. We have acquired more tribal land. Something that we do have going for us over here in North America is that colonizers usually arrive later, at least in this region right here. You guys know they go to Mexico and like Canada, so uh, we might have a little more time than we did as the South American guys. All right, third building time. I think we should get the land force limit, which actually is more expensive than I thought. Right. All right, let's fight these guys down here. Tribal Border Feud, call in the boys. You know what it is. I like this mission. General with 75 tradition? Don't mind if I do. Is he... Oh, 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 I like that guy. I like that guy a lot. And this war is done too. Nice. All right, now let's get the force limit building. All right, boys, this is what we're looking like right now, man. Let's fight these guys. I wonder if they'll disappear from the map because they'll have no tribal land of their own to go to. Oh, wait, I don't have that CB because they, they don't have tribal land. Right. But I do have a CB with these blue guys, so let's get to it. Tier 3 gov reform time. Uh, let's get a uh, seasonal travel, I guess, right? Yeah. Easy life, man. Easy life. Now, I wonder if these guys will disappear. Let's see. And they actually didn't disappear. They went over here. That's pretty far away. So once you beat them out of your tribal land, they completely leave it. Hmm. We should do the same to these guys. I wonder why I don't have the CB on these guys, though. These guys guaranteed my independence. <laughs> do you boys really think you're stronger than me? <laughs> Oh, oh, uniting the tribes, 50 gov reform progress. Wait, 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 please tell me there's more missions like this. Oh, I can't really see them, but hey, that's pretty useful, baby. My adversaries are getting stronger, but no worries, no worries. Come on. And all of these wars are super easy, even though we're fighting nations that are, at least on paper, stronger than us. Did I make these guys disappear? I think I did. <laughs> or maybe I didn't? I don't know. I can't be bothered to look for them. I was gonna say, man, I'm scared to fight these guys. They're so big. But dude, they're Meltec 2. I'm Meltec 4. So let's get right on that, boys. I guess I can separate piece these Kusa guys and take their land? Or maybe not. Let's separate piece these boys. More tribal land. And these boys, too. And these guys, too. And now we can peace out the main guys and take some money as well. Well, that was a fun little war. We did accomplish quite a lot. We're getting pretty big, boys. But hey, look at that, man. We've secured our southwestern uh, border right here. We own all of that, baby. I like that. But it does seem that these guys are in our way. So you know what we need to do. And this is done too. Perfect. Ah, oh, I just gave it to my allies. <laughs> well, I guess that's not perfect. Listen. 
Listen, this was intentional, okay? Pain. Now, if I take admin here, we could open up with uh, expansion ideas to get a colonist uh, right away. I don't know if we can colonize, right? We can't, native tribes can't colonize, yeah. But at least we'll have it on lock when the colonizers do arrive. Or should I just open up with something like, I don't know, quantity or offensive? That will slow us down in getting tech six though which we do need to become a horde. Hmm, I think I will take it. You know what? It is stupid, I know, but hey, let's open up with offensive right here. New meta, boys. You gotta get that siege ability. To your four gov reform time, uh, let's go for codified power, I guess. And after that, we can become a horde and then a monarchy. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a while, but hey, we're here for it, boys. We're here for it. Time to continue our conquests. All right, nice. Let's take that. It's cool how other guys aren't settling in my tribal land. You know, after that Chagatai disaster that happened last week, let's not, uh, let's forget about that. It's so nice to play a nation where there are literally no rebels. No rebels at all. Let's fight these red guys. Well, I was just clicking some stuff around and <laughs> I'm not at war with them anymore. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna declare my former allies over here. Hey, and we've gotten enough dev that we can build a fourth building. So uh, what do we do here? Earthwork, mm, tribal dev growth. I don't really care about that. Maybe we can do... Actually, yeah, let's do tribal dev growth. <laughs> Federation advancement. Let's uh, do joint grain depots. Man, all of these uh, native uh, chiefs are like really strong, except the starting one. All these events are super, super nice. Let's try and find some more ancestors. Morale? Sure, I'll take it. No, Miami isn't here. It's down here. What's up with this, guys? <laughs> and we're done with this as well. Boom. Perfect. Things are looking super, super nice for us, boys. We own, technically, a very nice portion of what we need to conquer. No colonizers in sight. Yeah, things are looking up for us. Finally, a relaxing game of you for A to Z. And these are the first guys that had the balls to migrate into my land. All right, boys, we're pretty close here to getting our uh, tier five governor form the planes called to us. And we're pretty close to getting uh, Miltech six. Both of those things should happen in about four years. So I think I'm just going to chill for the next four years and, uh, you know, try and save some money and stuff like that. Still no sign of colonizers, by the way. England has not been seen in Canada and I haven't seen Portugal or Castile yet either. And I did just see a French show ship right here so the guys can definitely see us but the french kind of weird and there we go boom it's august 1508 and we can finally take our tier 5 government reform and reform into a horde why is this the way to do it i don't know boys i don't know that's just how the game is man but here we are as cherokee boys and girls we have gotten all our tribal land from earlier nice we're a pretty big nation now let's get a martial society for tier 2 let's get lip service for tier 3 centralized power for tier 4 and of course we can become a monarchy but should we become a monarchy right away or should we stay as a horde hmm i'll think about it i'll think about it but hey at least now we can spawn institutions sure i should have moved my capital before we did that but hey who cares right so let's encourage development right here we can state up a lot of these stuff actually i wonder if i'll pay for that actually no states are free because it is all technically our land so let me state all of this up and then i'm gonna start spawning uh feudalism and the renaissance and colonialism and yeah and there we go i used all of my points to dev this up to 37 apparently and now we can at least get feudalism hey well, tech 5 is only 5 cent more expensive, right? But all right, sweet. Things are looking good. We are making money right now. So it's time to reorganize our armies and go and conquer all of these guys. I think I am actually going to stay a horde. It could be funny suffering from a uh, horde disunity. So let's go with uh, actually unified horde identity. All right, let's get this party started, boys. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Nice. Now at least we get the land immediately. Uh, of course, none of these... Uh, well, almost none of these lands are uh, wealthy enough to raise. All right, we got a big Iroquois up here, and we do want a lot of their land. So let's continue along. Let's continue along. The great North American horde of Cherokee shall form the real United States. I wonder if you have a decision for that. You know, we could form like Colombia and Chile with some of these southern guys down here. I wonder if you can actually form the U.S. as uh, Cherokee. You know, these native guys, man, they sure love getting and giving conduct here. Look at this. <laughs> and this seems to be about enough because... Because this is only the land that I want. Boom. Thank you, Iroquois. And would you look at that? We can even become a kingdom. Ah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's core this up and let's uh, get this right here. Boom. Perfect. Maybe I should actually keep uh, keep spawning the Renaissance here. We'll get it soon enough, boys. We'll get it soon enough. Don't worry. And there's our first comet event of the game. I wonder if natives don't have comets. I think they do. Finally, Renaissance. 
How much would it cost to embrace? A lot. But we don't care because I'm just gonna spam some loans, baby. You know what it is. Let's get the renaissance. And we have set our sights on the first colonizing nation, which is, of course, England. Hello, England. All right, I want the province of Kusa right here, the only province that I'm missing in the southeast. So let's fight uh, Chicksaw and 60,000 other natives just for one province. Ah. <sighs> All right, time to dip. Oh, listen, dude, we became a horde and immediately separatists, rebels, everything else. Jesus, I'm done being a horde, man. I'm done. Listen, with all the troubles we had with Chagatai last time, I don't want to get no PTSD. So let's reform into a monarchy. And let's become an autocracy. Wow, the clergy is actually called the medicine man in, uh, when you're a native nation, I guess, or when you're a totemist. That's pretty cool. All right, we can take our second idea group here. I am going to go with expansion because obviously we will want to get the uncolonized provinces as well. And there's no guarantee anyone will colonize them. All right, let's get these guys out of here. Hey, tier two got reform time. It's time to... Strength and noble privileges. And this is pretty much all I want from these guys. <laughs> hey, we got a colonist. And the first province that I'm going to colonize is not anything down here. This one right here because it's pissing me off. So no colonizers in our land. So that's looking good. We probably won't have to fight any colonizers. Famous last words, I know. <laughs> all right, let's get a move on. I don't have any time to slack around. Come on. Well, I just pieced someone out up here for these two provinces. Dude. Such an annoying war for these two OPMs, man. I got angry. And why is it so expensive to core this stuff up? Like, come on. Well, colonizers are starting to show up. We got Spain over here, Portugal down here. We got England up here. France is nowhere to be seen, even though I saw their ships first, though. All right, I need to get on top of this before the colonizers start really colonizing. So let's declare a Lenape right here. Ah, oh, good relations? No, 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 no. Let's send them a little scornful insult first. All right, now we can go. Our... Are we the baddies? All right, I just pieced out these guys over here for these few provinces over here. Nice. And let's piece these guys out up here for these three provinces, which are the ones I need. We're sort of establishing a northern border as well, man. Not a lot to go. It's just like these two guys over here and their land. And then uh, let's see this guy over here and their land. Pretty nice. And then we're going to have to colonize some stuff down in Florida, of course. Thankfully, we won't have to fight any Florida men, though. All right, and I think we're pretty much done with these guys as well. And I'll take these provinces over here here sweet all right inching ever closer to our goal let's take care of these abenaki guys up here who else are we fighting oh nice we can take stuff from pequot as well all right let's piece these guys out okay we're finally done with this i think this is all i need right boom there we go for some reason we didn't get this province from uh these guys i don't know why let's get down to business to defeat these guys which i don't have a cb on so maybe it's these guys it is it's those guys right right almost there boys i can almost taste it so close okay i just got my second colonist this uh first guy i just sent him over here and the second guy i think we should send them uh let's see yeah let's send them right here all right let's clean these guys up since the truce expired and they're pretty much uh pretty much the second to last station we're gonna fight here man we just got these guys up here left and i got a truce with them because they were my tributary so it's these guys these guys this province and then three provinces in south florida so close I love it. Such a relaxing game. Oh, boys, I needed this. Now, who's this gray guy over here? What's this? The Isleta Federation? Bruh, come on, man. You, you guys gotta try more. I mean, if you guys were trying for border war, then you have succeeded. What's this nation, dude? Ah, of course. Nice flag, by the way. I guess they're reformed or, or not. And there we go. This war is done. So let's take these guys over here. Boom, there it is. Both colonies just finished almost at the exact same time. So let's take a look at the map here. Right, right. This province. So let's send the guy there and let's send the guy. Uh, wait, the second guy still needs to come back. And there he is. He's back. We can send him here too. You know, it was so peaceful playing as a one province minor native nation. Now I have to deal with all of these guys. <laughs> I did provoke them, but hey, well, still no. Ooh. And let's beat up the final nation that we need to. These guys. So many natives, man. Well, uh, England's in a nice little war over here. What? What's this? In the oh, the War of the Protestant League? Uh, I'll decline mill access, of course, but man, I wish I could see this. This looks like a pretty big Austria, man. They're even up to here. I think that's gotta be Austria. That white province up there. They even have Venice. Dude, I'd love to see this Austria, man. Tuscany owns Genoa. Some fun stuff. Pretty big Ottomans. Uh, Ming blew up. What else? Yeah, I wish I could see Europe. And that's pretty much done. And this is hopefully the last nation we're ever gonna have to fight as Cherokee. Boom. We have all the provinces that we can possibly conquer in the northeast and southeast regions of the North American continent. And now we 
just need to colonize these two and then these two and we're done baby now hopefully spain won't come up with anything funny but they don't seem to have their eye on me like they did in the charu episode okay how did this happen how did this happen how could there was no rebels here no rebels it didn't defect to them or anything what happened here man how can they just take a province like what happened? Let's take a look at the province history here. Was liberated, became a core of the Huron Confederacy, was liberated, was annexed. What What happened, dude? All right, both colonies are once again done, so let's colonize the final two provinces we need. I'm still salty about this because I don't know what happened, but I guess that wasn't our last war and this will be it. I, I tried to threaten war, but they won't give it to me. All right. You know what this means. And let's do our actual final war versus the Huron Confederacy. Wait, reconquest on so many cores? It's just one core. It's it's just this province. What's the what's the deal here? <laughs> let's find the province. What's it called? A very long name starting with O. All right, it's this. I don't get this, dude. Like, what's going on here? We can even bomb forts and assault. All right. Thanks. All I'm gonna say, boys, I'm tired of playing natives, man. And we still got like three more just in season C, dude. Oh my god. We should have skipped C altogether, man. Ugh, very tiring. We just need to wait for these two to finish. And then that's it. We'll be free of the pain forever. Let's take our third idea group, none. I'm... I'm not. I'm not gonna take a third idea group. And, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our colonies in South Florida have finished. And with that, we have completed our goal, which was to conquer both the Southeast and the Northeast regions of North America and form the real United States of America as the nation of Cherokee. Honestly, man, compared to other natives that we've played in South America and in Central America, this was a super, super fun campaign and a super nice change of pace because there's lots of these nations to go around over here. You're not bored at any point in time and we fought all of these guys around us instead of just waiting around and migrating like the guys in south america all around a super fun campaign man i think cherokee is definitely one of the most fun and one of the most powerful native nations at least in north america pretty nice idea set you can do stuff with them right from the start and look how far i got boys in just about 100 years and we didn't even fight colonizers now sure i would have liked to have fought some colonizers but listen no one really declared on me and we really didn't need to since they didn't colonize any of the provinces we needed and listen we can't fight colonizers in every native campaign can we but honestly man speaking of natives it has been super super painful being stuck in north and south america for season c right here and like i said we do have a few more of these guys to go before we're back in europe playing coal and nations like that but yeah man overall a super stable nation right here making tons of money i have been building tons of buildings during this entire time i even fortified myself really really nicely over here because i got annoyed of people sieging me down we even got a tributary over here here. got a couple of allies over here got this isleta federation nation which is uh super super burglary our borders are nice and clean baby you know what it is everything full stated man autonomy lowered everywhere as much as possible and a very very nice nation here i'm super happy with how we ended up as cherokee we're even a number seven great power i have embraced all current institutions i think well not the printing press but we could get it from england and like i said i initially wanted to go for the no trail of tears achievement but that requires us to embrace all institutions which would require us to play until after 1750 and of course you boys know i don't have time for that but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as cherokee in a to z has been a success and that has been cherokee in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z challenges like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video